Hey, it's Joe Hackman with Joe's Gone Social.com, Managed Solutions.com, and HackmanJ on Twitter. I uh, This is a prequel video. It's kind of a new thing for me. So I just did a video about how to create your own URL shortening service. And I had actually blogged about it earlier this week on Joe's Gone Social. I blogged about it on December 6th. Um, basically talking about the need for having it and why I set one up and I kind of prompted people I said hey well what else should I do with this uh, and basically people came back and said yeah definitely do a, a video about how to do it and do a video about the features so this is a video about the features and this will help you decide if you want to go through with it so I'm basically logged into the admin in the uh, U, uh, fictitious URL sh shortening service I just created and uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a website I'm gonna go to that website and I'm gonna copy the URL and I'm actually gonna just paste it here in this box and then I'm gonna say um, JGS YouTube Joe's Gone Social YouTube so I create that and now it gives me the option to copy the link here nice Ajax interface and it also gives me the option to share it really quick and this is what it would look like I'm actually not going to do this I'm actually not going to push this out because this URL shortener is uh, not really going to exist in about maybe a half hour or so because pretty much I've already um, given out the passwords and everything so I have to pretty much reinstall this one so basically but if you wanted to tweet it you would click that If you want to share on Facebook or friend feed they have that option so once that once it's been created here's a here's one I actually created uh, prior to starting the video you have some other nice things available you have some analytics you have some additional sharing options you can edit it or you can delete it so let's take a look at the um, the actual uh, statistics which is actually pretty cool uh, they give you the last 24 hours in all times as far as hits. I only clicked it once, uh, you know, about a half hour ago. Traffic location, well, you know, I'm in the U.S., so that shows me geographic where, where people are clicking the link. It shows me where it comes from. So, for example, if you wanted to see how much of your traffic was coming from Twitter, how much of it was coming from Facebook, what have you, you could see that. And then, of course, it also gives you a nice handy way to access the, the quick sharing, and you can sort of type in your own information in here, and you can tweet it out from there. So let's go back to the admin interface, and let's take a look at the other options. So let's see what options we are given in the, in the share. So when you click the share link, it actually brings up the title of the page. So that, that's actually kind of a cool, um, that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, let's see what else we have. We can also edit these links so you can change the original URL, you can change the short URL, you can change the title. The title might be really useful. Let's say the page doesn't have a terribly creative title. You can actually edit the uh, the title for that YouTube for that YouTube link, for example. You could say, "Wow, look at Joe's gone social on YouTube." Um, not that people will be saying "Wow," but anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. But it's nice to know that you can edit things after the fact. And then, of course, you can delete them. Like, let's say I want to I want to uh, diss the, uh, the creator here. I could delete that. I'm not going to, but um, I could delete basically any shortened URL that I decide I wanted to do that. Okay, so that those are some of the main options. In the um, plugins area, they have some uh, interesting features, like being allowed to uh, include hyphens, um, random backgrounds. They give you a sample of a uh, administration page to save user-defined options. So let's say you didn't really want the standard admin page. You wanted to make it a little different. You could do that. Uh, also, it gives you some information about how to use the plugin appy, which is kind of nice if you want to do something with that. And then, of course, the URLs uh, toolbar, which is pretty cool. So you have some uh, bookmarklet marklet options um, with that. So these are some of the features available. This, I don't want to keep this video quick, so I'm not going to go into it too much farther. But um, if you want to learn more about why you might want a URL shortener, uh, go to joesgonsocial.com and just type in URLs, um, and you'll find a couple of different um, articles about this very subject. Thanks for watching my video. Hope it's been helpful for you and have a great day.